Excellence must be the outcome of this event in your life. Whatever name Adam called any of those creatures, that was the name by which God called them. In pursuit of excellence is a prophetic theme of this event. You shall not be left out. Now take this prophetic scripture before we go tonight, Isaiah 60 and verse 15. And we are going to read it together. It's going to be on the screen. And Allah want your spirit to connect with this. Some testimonies tonight show that the way they came the last time and what has become of them this time. And what happened immediately after they left. Now, one, two, go. Whereas thou has been forsaken. I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. How you look like right now, notwithstanding, I will make. When God makes, no devil cannot make. I will make thee an eternal excellency, the joy of many generations. When you sit down for a moment, we write that scripture. God has vowed to make me an eternal excellency, the joy of many generations. That means my life must impart on my generation and generations after me. There are many who have just entered that prophetic scripture now. The world will celebrate the day you were born. Your generation will thank God that you came to the world. I will make thee an eternal excellency and the joy of many generations. That war shall be confirmed in your life. with all of the teachings and the workshops because this making has its foundation in light. Arise, shine, because your light is come. And the entrance of his world is what gives light. So the making begins with access to light and walking in that light. Access to light and walking in that light. Isaiah 60 verse 1. Uh, Arise, shine, your light is here. And then uh, the glory of the Lord shall be risen upon thee. Darkness may cover the earth and gross down at the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be sent upon thee. And it shall be said of thee who are these that fly as a cloud. So it all begins with light. Access to light and walking in that light. Access to light and walking in that light. Access to light and walking in that light is what empowers believers to become eternal excellencies and the joy of many generations. So it's not sitting down somewhere and watching. It's been awake to your responsibilities as pointed to you from scriptures and then you have committed God to confirm his word in your life. Who are these that fly as the clouds who came back battered, beaten and now you have international business. You travel outside, out of the country at will every three months. How? Who dash monkey banana? Light. Light, light, light came, grabs, and walked with, and then the heavens open. It's the normal way it happens. In the name of the Lord Jesus, 
no one will miss his place in the rise of this eternal excellency. You will not miss your place. Another man will not take your crown. Eternal there connotes that it doesn't stop here. It goes on to eternity. That means I will make you an entity of eternity. <laughs> that means I will make sure you make heaven. You walk in the light. I will clear the obstacles of your way. Now that's what God is saying. Come on now, give the Lord a big hand and get seated. God has vowed to make me an eternal excellency, the joy of many generations. Please note, and I just keep these notes on with shorter than eight on the dot. Now, excellence is the lot of only performing hands. Excellence is not for the indolent and the do nothing believers. How is he doing excellently? He's doing something. Excellence is the lot of doers only, not wishers, not waiters. An old English artist says, it is practice that makes perfect. Excellence is not for wishers. It's not for procrastinators. Excellence is for performing productive hands. Performing and productive hands. Folks, listen to me. No excuse is tenable for doing nothing with God. No excuse is tenable for doing nothing with God. No excuse is tenable. Joseph hated, pushed into slavery. He was serving. The light somebody going about his business. As an unfortunate individual, as a sold out, hated brother, he put it behind him. He served till he won his master's favor. Amen. Genesis 39, 1 to 5. <laughs> My God. And got to the prison. Another level of misfortune. And Joseph was a worker in the prison. To the point that they identified him and put other prisoners under his care. Joseph. No excuse is tenable for doing nothing. Doing nothing does not hold the future for nobody. There is nothing in doing nothing. There is nothing in doing nothing. Most young people are too proud to start from the beginning. They are too proud to begin small. They want to be five feet tall the day they were born. They want to start driving a car at birth. A MS fortune, sir. Any life without a strong beginning has no future. Those who despise the days of small things never see great days. Zechariah chapter 4 verse 10, who have despised the days of small things, count them out. They are not part of it. Everything great starts small. Everything big starts small. Everything great starts little. Wake up. You are a student doing nothing. Your mother is running around the kitchen, cooking and giving you food to eat and you ate. What an irresponsible life. You should be married and get your own husband's place if you're a lady. And if you're a man, uh, you don't know how to do nothing, it will show. It will show. Mom, let me relieve you of the pressure of the kitchen. I'm here. You can trust me to make the best of meal for you. You are preparing for a future. You got a job in the primary school and you gave your heart to it. And then suddenly, you begin to own schools in the process. 
Everything about life demands responsibility. Everything. I never had done times in my life, including holiday times. No done times. Either scheduled kingdom engagement or any vacation job opportunity. I was having nice time building my future that I knew not. There is nothing in doing nothing. Joseph began performing as a slave, performed as a prisoner, and now his excellency was announced in the palace. It's the way it works. Therefore, before you get what you want, whatever your hand finds out to do, do it with all your might. All your might, all your might, all your might. For there is nothing in doing nothing. There is nothing in doing nothing. This must go home with you. There is nothing in doing nothing. Excellence does not apply to indolence. It does not apply to this logger. It applies only to productively engaging hands. Excellence has to do with performance. It's a function of performance. And when there's nothing performing, excellence is not, <laughs> does not apply to that individual. No one has a future doing nothing. Seest thou a man diligent in his business, he shall stand before kings, he shall not stand before me men. Again, there is nothing in doing nothing. Proverbs 13.4 The slogan desired and has nothing. Amen. The soul of the slogan desired and has nothing. But the soul of the diligent shall be made Fat. The soul of the diligent shall be made fat. The hand of the diligent bears the rule. He reigns at the end. But the slothful shall remain under tribute. Proverbs 12 and verse 24. You don't want to end your journey as a slave in regret. Whatever your hand finds to do it by time, do it. Do it. Do it with all your might. With all your might. With all your might. With all your might. For there is nothing in doing nothing. <laughs> there is nothing in doing nothing. Young people, the most accomplished academics in the world began in primary school. You can't become a prof as a toddler. Except by nickname. <laughs> Profi. <laughs> you can't become a general without starting if you're a commission officer from second lieutenant. You might become a field marshal tomorrow, but that's where you start from. You better find a starting point. You can't climb a ladder without a starting point. Find a starting point for your life. This short man has had quite some brief spares in places all for hatred for damn times. Hatred for damn times. I'm not a professional teacher, but I've taught in primary school. I'm not a professional teacher, I've taught in secondary school. No damn time. I got married without any leaning on parents or relations. No damn time. I never know I've been teaching all my life, so God was taking me through a teaching crucible to prepare me for a future I didn't know. I had six different meetings within two days and came back last night. I didn't know he was preparing me for it. In our old time, a primary school teacher teaches all the classes. I don't know whether they have changed it now. That is from A to Z. General duty teacher. You teach what you know, what you don't know. <laughs> Amen. One day I taught 15 hours in the Bible school in Kaduna. I was like a wind at the end of the lectures. I never knew God was preparing me for things to come. There is nothing in doing nothing. Nobody should live here and go back to the doing nothing platform. 
you mustn't. The world is a marketplace. It has a place for all and sundry. You are either buying or selling or helping to carry the luggage of those who buy. Everybody is doing something that adding value to his life. So to sit down and do nothing is an insult on your intelligence. It's an insult on your intelligence. Even though two of who are not graduates are starting lesson schools, lessons to teach students. I know a young graduate here from Covenant who went to a place and was teaching economics. He made two million during service year. Two million. You look at the village, you won't believe anybody can generate two million. They wanted to pass the subject. That is his area of studies. So he organized teaching these young people. And they were paying the charges. He left the place with two million. Two million. Somebody sending text for his mother to send him a recharge card. Two million. There is nothing in doing nothing. Excellence only applies to performing hands. Productive lives. Excellence is a function of performance. So when we evaluate and appraise people, they say, good, very good, excellent. On the job, there is a job doing that earns you excellent output. But there is something in doing nothing, it's called decadence. Through idleness, our building decays. People just rot away with their eyes open. They just rot away. By much slothfulness, the building decays. And through idleness of the hands, the house drops. You always go down doing nothing. <laughs> you always go down doing nothing. There is always a stench in doing nothing. I say, well, there's something in doing nothing. Yes, there's a stench, there's a dropping, there's a crashing. That's the meaning. Somebody here was carrying uh, waste bottles, you know, pure water bottles and all that stuff, and selling, <laughs> made a way to U.S., and a degree in an old age, sent all our children to school from waste bottles, waste bottles, waste bottles. Waste bottles. And then you are a believer. The vineyard is an open-ended platform for productive service. He that repeat receiveth wages. So there, you don't have any excuse. You are either involved in literal, practical, productive business or in kingdom advancement as a business. Whichever way you are not permitted to be somewhere doing nothing and being pitied by people. All the children I taught in primary school were saved, all of them. But that's my mission. They were saved one by one. I love them with passion. I'm teaching them, I'm ministering to them the salvation of Christ. One time, one vacation, and my old man said, what are you doing during this vacation? I said, preaching. He said, what? Preaching? He said, that's what we eat. We were all eating it before he passed. I had a schedule for myself. This period. I'm going to cover this and this and this and this. I'm still covering them. Up to now. Down time is a risk. Doing nothing is a risk. If Joseph could find something doing as a slave, find something doing where you are. If you could find something doing in the prison, there is something around you if you are interested. There is something around you if you're interested. Therefore, let nobody say I'm waiting for a job. You have the mind of Christ. So, create, innovate, and invent. Taking advantage of the things around you for legitimate earning. Legitimate earning. Legitimate earning. Somebody's story is changing. <laughs> that is where you're making of our internal excellency begins. There must be something you are engaging with from where you command results 
in successions until your result is a judge excellent. It is not excellent by title, excellent by output. Excellence by output. One of my friends came here. Um, he said, You know what amazed me in church? Everybody operates like a computer system. It's your turn, you go there. Before any, nobody has to remind you, you know when your turn is over, you come down. He said, No, Mark, I, I don't understand this. You close service and under one hour, you don't know anybody came here to worship. Somebody came here, we were serving communion, we were going to serve communion. He looked at her and said, well, we're in trouble here today. When are we going to live here? <laughs> when are we going to live here? And then he discovered that 11 minutes, everybody was over. 11 minutes, everybody had partaken. He said, you mean everybody has taken? He said, everybody has taken. <laughs> we had some visitors in December. And when they saw the crowd coming in for Shiloh, my God, they have been stamped here today. So they stood there, and they saw everybody was going like soldier ant. Just going to where you should go, and going out when you go, go out to where you should go back to. What kind of place is this? We talk of excellence when there is output. No performance, you don't talk of excellence. It's performance that graduates into excellence. Excellence is a function of performance. You're not performing nothing, you're not a candidate. We are shutting down now, and my purpose is to release the blessing of tireless pursuit of excellence. And let me conclude by saying there is nothing magical or mystical about excellence. It's simply a product of one's tireless commitment to improvement. Excellence is simply a product of your tireless commitment to improvement. Improvement. There are better ways of doing the things you are doing. Find out. And apply it. There's always a better way forward. There's a better way for your output. There's always a better way. Don't stay down somewhere and say it's over. There's always a better way of getting things done. Praise God. And um, it's accessible. To all of us that have the mind of Christ. So I say to every child of God who possesses the creative capacity of God within them. So we can create it. Amen. Wisdom does not wait for solution. It creates them. You create the stuff. The stuff. Tireless commitment to improvement is what results in excellence. Excellence. A raw product of tireless commitment to improvement. The good news is this. Everyone here is ordained an eternal excellency. And that becomes a reality by walking in the light of his word. It becomes a reality by walking what? In the light of his word. Arise and shine because your light is come. We are in here tomorrow morning for a great time in God's presence. And you shall be imparted with grace, required to pursue the path of excellence all the days of your life. Excellent family life. Excellence in your business and career. Very importantly, excellence in your spiritual life. Where you represent Jesus bodily. They look at you and they see Jesus. Your altar was they see Jesus in the world. Your look radiates Jesus. Your smiles radiate Jesus. And that shall be your portion. Please stand to your feet. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus said to those folks, Why stand ye idle 
all the day. This is not acceptable. This is not the way to live. You are here in the marketplace where there is opportunity for everybody and you are laying about. This is an eyesore. Somebody here was a sales fellow and carried his product on his shoulder walking through the marketplace and then a top official of the company producing that goods came by. Excuse me? How are you doing with the product? He markets the product very well. <laughs> the man says, see me in the office tomorrow. I work in this company. From there, I became a sales manager. Amen. He carried that thing. He couldn't have become a sales manager in his room. He carried that on his shoulder in the marketplace, a graduate, and favor met him. 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 You must not be found on your mother's lap upon leaving school. It's an insult to your training. It's an insult to your redemption. No, you must not. You must not stay somewhere where they're asking, have you eaten? Or where you're determining what to eat when you're not working. You shouldn't. It's not, it's not normal. It's not normal. It's not normal. That's an abnormality. <laughs> Don't try it. Amen. None of your parents here will regret over you. Yeah. Dash me, dash me is what dashes destiny. Wealth gotten by vanity shall diminish, for he that gathers by labor shall increase. No matter what parents leave for their children, it does not add to their worth. Is the product of the work of their hand that enhances their value. That's why many great names left great wealth behind and they were wrecked in a moment. Can't find them anymore. Because wealth must be produced, not received. It's produced by taking responsibility, covenant responsibility, practical responsibility. Your parents' accomplishments are not transferable to you. They are not. If your dad is a professor of mathematics and he weed the certificate to you and you try to apply somewhere with that certificate, you will end up in jail. You, you can even produce the paper, the affidavit that your father used to transfer it to you and it ask you, do you think qualification and experience are transferable? He said, well, I don't know. My father gave me, okay. You and your father, you will answer in the prison. When you get to the prison, tell your father in heaven that you are in the prison by the inheritance he gave you. A dozen adult. If your father were a wrestler, a world class wrestler, a world champion wrestler, and then he left his bed for you as your heritage, <laughs> and somebody invites you to challenge your title, and you try to go there. <laughs> Amen. When he takes you up, you ask you, Where do you want to die? <laughs> Outside the court or in the court? <laughs> Speak now. Because I'm going to break your pieces now. And then it throws you down. Your hand will go one way. Your leg will go one way. Because you are not equipped for it. You are not equipped for it. That's how worthless inheritance can be. That's how worthless inheritance can be. It does not add up. It doesn't enhance value. It doesn't enhance worth. I promise you, eight on the dot, lift up your two hands. Ask God for grace to take responsibility and not be a non-looker in the marketplace. I refuse to be a non-looker in the marketplace. I refuse to be a, to be a playboy in the marketplace. Marketplace is not a playground. It's a business ground. I refuse to be a, to be a playboy in the marketplace. I refuse to be a playboy in the marketplace. So help me, Jesus. <laughs>